Uh, good evening. This is Wag Chicago. Today's the fifth day of January. The year is 22. They tell you they're rolling out the 5G or tonight or today to 100 million people. The rest are on delay temporarily. The ones who live near airports. I'm going to do another report showing you some old news. Back in 2016, 2017, 2007, I think. 2009, maybe. Anyways, I got those set up to show you why they were trying to delay the rollout. But it's not going to stop. So, anyways, shopping with Wags. I started speaking to a lady by the man-made food section or the printed food section. So, I hope you like this. I skipped all the empty shelves. Got right to the point. Here we go. Shopping with wags, running into customers, etc. It's 2022. Why not? Pork knees or neck bones. What is it? Frozen. Oh, see how this is frozen? Are these coming from storage units in the dumps? Frozen neck bones. Sixty-six for some neck bones. This is what's coming right here. Stuff's frozen. Yeah. By the way, this garbage is two dollars a pound, as far as I could count. That's eight dollars. This is one pound bricks of fake meat. Eight dollars. That's more than. That's eight dollars a pound. No. The other thing is, look how frozen all this shit is. All the food in the store is literally frozen. I just caught, this is the afternoon, late afternoon. So I caught mornings at Aldi, always frozen. Nighttime at these other stores coming in hard frozen. Even the garbage, this garbage. Look, $10 for one pound. Did you just see that? Hang on. Am I seeing this right? Okay, $9.99. Nine ninety nine. It's on sale for seven ninety nine for sixteen ounces. That's one pound of meat. Ten dollars a pound for this garbage, bug infested, garbage, sawdust meat, or whatever you think is in it. The same company, yeah, Incognito. What is it? Bratwurst. This is creepy. I mean, here, there's chicken. <laughs> Mindful chicken, it's called. Mindful and then chick. C H I K N. They're like weird. Like they're making fun of us, right? Sweet Earth doesn't taste too bad. Sweet Earth is over in the. Oh, Sweet Eye. Here they are, yes. Yeah. That's a brand then? Yeah. Is that, because a lot of these are owned by, uh, what's that one, uh, Kellogg's, I think? Who owns it? One of these is owned by Kellogg's. I think they I'm bought them sure. out. Oh, uh, Morningstar. That much yeah, Morningstar. Did they taste good or no? Does yeah, it taste weird? Taste okay. Good. I'm afraid to taste it. Here's a bacon burger. Look at this. I kind of like this. Oh, you got. This isn't fake, you know? Oh, that's right. Um, like gluten free, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I the pasta is at least it's somewhat normal. Yeah. This, this is just creepy. Did you ever see that movie, Sterling Green? No. 
in the like '68. Soylent Green from the '60s. It was a movie back in '68, I think. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah they get. Well, there's. No, it is gross. No, no, and they now they're doing a thing called Farm the Table. I think that's the new. That's how all this changes is coming. But look how empty these cabinets are. You know, I was just calling my sister. Are you noticing that? My channel. I got like twelve videos. I've been doing this for three months. Watch it slowly. The inventory is getting less. All the stories. No, it's just so. It's some people say it's man-made, like, but then others say it's just the, the clog of the truckers, like you're saying. Yeah. Nobody knows, but it's getting less and less. But recently, Bloomberg, you know, the guy who owns the news and all that, yeah. he said the other day that Americans have been spoiled too much, so he wants the refrigerators to look like Europe. In England, they go to store, they don't have food. So he goes, Americans trying to do this. This is They're saying this is on purpose. Oh, because really? we're spoiled. Well, we're spoiled. Yeah, a little bit better because I'm thinking maybe the end of the world has come. <laughs> well, yeah, but they're trying to make it look that way. I think. But yeah. this is what they're going to This will make you comply. If you go back to the 1900s, Stalin, Mao, and the H guy, I'm not going to say his name because I'm on the air, but, or will yeah. be, but they all use starvation as a tool. So when you're starving, you'll listen better because there's a lot of people that don't want to get that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them don't. So yeah. what they're going to do is you want to eat, then you got to go to a facility where they're going to have food, but you can't go to the facility unless you have your ID. You're going to need an ID after you, you get the car, unless, unless you get, get stuck. Yeah. But it's all, con you're, you're consenting, even though if you don't consent, you won't eat. See how that works? But you're consenting. That's yeah. called the coercion, no? Yeah. That's, in, in law, that would be technically our word. Like, if you do something against somebody's will, but trick them into doing it, that's illegal. Like, yeah. in the court, that would be illegal. But here, they're doing it. Oh, you want to eat? Then get your shot. That's so creepy, that's all you know? back to the shot. My opinion is. Yeah. I do the Johnson & Johnson only because well, it, I, that's fine. Yeah, I wasn't going to get to see my sister. I know. A lot of people that they want to travel, right. Home. And then you won't be able to. But they lied to you. Now you still right. can't go. Well, and then what made me really mad is I went through all that. I get to the nursing home, which was like three hours. They wouldn't know you went, right? And they hadn't given her first. They hadn't tested her. They hadn't given her. So, I mean, I did get to see her. But the next time I saw her, she was like in a coma. So... Sad what they're doing. Like, I don't know if you could hear what she was saying. And I, when I reviewed this after I got home, this poor lady got the sticky fluids to go visit a, a sick sister of hers. This is when the, the whole thing started, it sounds like. And when she got there, so she got the sticky to go see the sister that's going to not be here much longer at that time. And uh, gets there, and the sister hadn't had her sticky yet. See, how that, see remember I did that video? You got you to gotta take to your knees and, and, and take the sticky fluids in order to be euthanized in certain countries like Germany and Austria, for example. So you need to be pricked to die. See how that works? She got pricked to go visit somebody who's dying. Wanted to see them while they were still coherent. However, they're running behind, etc. And the sister didn't get the sticky when she was on the way there. The other, the sister that was dying. Then they had to do it. She had to wait. By the time she got to see her sister, which she did appreciate that she saw her, she was already in a coma. See how that works? If that isn't the definition of evil, then go fuck yourself. How about that? It's not like if you're sick, like your sister, and then you can't see your family, that's that's mean, right? Or e evil. No, like you grew up your whole life, and now you can't put family, your husband's wise. Now you're they're dying, let's say, and you can't go see them. That's wrong. Like, I don't care which side you're on. Like, this is wrong. And then they want us to hate each other. Like, we had people over for New Year's, and like some are back, some aren't. We don't care. Like, do you? Like, but yeah. don't suck. They're making people not like them. Now. Yeah. And what gets me really upset is I, I moved from Naperville to Fox Lake. Right. So I feel like a stranger up right, here, right. anyhow. Right. And I don't know very many right, right. people. So I try to get to ch you know, the church. Now it's all separate. Everybody's talking about politics. I know. I can't, can't stand it. That's a trick, too. Yeah. 
and and you have to you know my neighbors too they're all this is this side this, I know. Is this, this is all side. divided divide and conquer right the old these they, everybody forgot their history like this has all happened before like not that long ago like not even a hundred years ago this all the, all this this is what they did in germany they they made the people not like the dirty people that were allowed to go swimming this all started with a swimming pool certain group of people starts with the letter j were not allowed to go swimming that's how this started yeah. this sounds like this like you don't have your shot there. You can't go into the grocery. That's coming, by the way. They're they're already getting armed cops now. Yeah, okay. They're hiring armed cops, uh, um, high vias. So they're hiring them, putting them out nationwide or in their zones. So including Illinois, you're gonna have armed cops walking around. You know why? It ain't because of the unruly pa- pastor, unruly uh, customer. It's because there's Nobody's not gonna be no food. What are you gonna do when your kids are starving? You come here and like I went to on New Year's Eve. I went to get, uh, I want to make a pasta, a soup for yesterday. I went to get fresh ground turkey. They had no turkey, no chicken fresh at all. None, not even ground. Yeah. So what if your kids are hungry and then you go to the circus, you're not planning on this. And now yeah. you've got empty shelves. That, that's why I, that's why I think they have an armed cop. I was working at Costco back in April oh, so before I moved up here. So you worked retail. Yeah, I was for a short. Right, right. I was medical for 27 okay, years, right. and then they just kind of let me go. Yeah, of course, the doctor did didn't want me there because she. Had it's a, everything's changing, isn't it? Yeah. So at Costco, it was like this for right. a while when COVID first started. Right, and then but that people were buying stuff on purpose. Yeah, there was right. like shortages. Yeah, I thought that was trouble. They didn't. Stop but now there's the no family. stuff coming like in. Some families with two cards, just for right. They're hoarding. Yeah. yeah. But now there's nothing coming in. Like. Yeah. This is. Look at over there. All those fridges are empty. I'll, I'll aim at that. I'm so up at your camera, but I was calling my sister because she told me this. She lives in Oswego. Wow, so she's short too. Yeah. This well, is. She's, you know, I mean, the stores are getting short. Yeah, but look how much more of this there is. There wasn't this much a week ago with this stuff. So this is okay though. This is what they're bringing in. See this? This will be gone, and then you get to go here. But yeah. if you don't like this, you can go to the camp. But yo, you got your shot. But you would be okay because you did. But. I wouldn't well, I be. Would I didn't. Say, I so didn't I'm just saying. But now they want you to get a booster every two months. Yeah, like I don't want to do. No, but now people know. are waking up, going something's I'm wrong. Like at Jewel, right? I was working with right. and I do this. Well, I got the job at Jewel right. after I had gotten the shot, right. and they paid me eighty nine dollars in my paycheck because I had gotten the shot, even though they give you extra. Yes. Yeah, so anyhow, this is coercion. I like, get the shot only because it was before I get the job. Here. Right. And one of the girls that. They have working behind the pharmacy. She's all over the place. Right. You know, she says to me one day, "So did you get the shot?" And I said, "Yeah, I did. I got the Johnson and Johnson right. before I purchased. Right. You know, you're gonna be dead in two years." What? <laughs> That's <laughs> nice to say to somebody, right? I said, "What?" You-? This is this. Is, see, I hate bullies. So when I hear a, a, an elderly woman being bullied, that's why I, I, I like reacted so much. The lady at the grocery store that works in the pharmacy tells her, did you get your old fluids? She tells her she got the family company one, you know, the one and only done or whatever it's called. And uh, the lady tells her you're going to be taken out, but not the lunch within two years. You see how that works? And then watch what I say to her. You're going to see where I go. But it's just disgusting. They're dividing everybody. So they're tribal even with the shot. So if I got the, the Pfizer, but you got shot, I'm better than you. See how that works? Yeah, I See, they're that dividing that even among people who got the shot, they're dividing you. But in here, I'm thinking, I wonder if the pharmacy has any idea this goofy woman is talking about saying things like By the way, she said it, not me. It's Jewel. I don't know which one. Northern Illinois. That's Nobody rude. Ever said but like they hate, that. they hate the, and then imagine if she's talking to somebody who didn't get the shot. Now you're dirty. You see that? But you're getting me sick. I didn't get anybody sick. Like, leave me alone. Like, why can't we just mind it? Like, you didn't ask me, did you get your flu shot last year? Did you have the, I don't know, herpes shot? Whatever shots are out there. Like, none of my business, right? I mean, would you think, imagine going back three years ago and trying to tell yourself, you got 15 minutes. This is what I would say in my show. If you got 15 minutes, go back into like 2018, 2019 and explain today. Like, you just woke up from a coma. Go to the store. You see the people with the shot, all the argument. And now the passports are coming. Like, you'd be like, this ain't no, not here. Like, people gave up that evening. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm recording. That's why I record. I come here and check this. Like, this is part of my, I do the groceries lately. What's your show? Uh, Scott Wagner. If you do Scott Wagner McHenry or Scott Wagner. Um, I do a lot. Yeah, do, yeah it's I Wag Chicago. Like, but I come 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've got customers that know my voice because I do. I've got like two thousand videos, so they recognize my voice out here, especially Wag, w, w, yeah, like Wagon Wheel, like Wag uh, or Wag Chicago. So Wags and then spell out Chicago. If you hashtag that, it'll pull up my videos and my Twitter. I got news feeds too. I do. Yeah, I just don't think I think something's wrong. Yeah, I'm just doing what the news doesn't do no more. Like, why is the news doing videos about why we got no food? Like, they don't want you to know, and then eventually you're not gonna have it. And then, oh, go to the trailer over here where the government possibly is at. And then you're going to have to show your ID. You have a card. If I don't have a card, you're going to have to get the shot to get food. I guarantee you that's coming. This is all they want. But it's all part of they, this whole thing's about ID. They want everybody ID. I'm going to stop right there because the algo. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, here, I'll play the beginning. So that was the end of the interview. Pretty much, we talked for like another minute or two, and then I go on. I, it took me like a minute or two to recoup. I'm not used to talking to people in public it, 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 for the show like this. <laughs> Anyways, this is the shot me with wags. I'll go back here to the beginning of my clip before I met this lady, and uh, I'll finish it out here. And again, happy new year, everybody. Today's the five G year went online. About 100 million people will be affected by it. The rest will be affected later. They're holding off on the airlines or airports regions for now because of interference. I will do a video about that. Hopefully tonight. Here's the beginning of this trip here. Second day of January. Welcome to 2022. So I'll show you I'm at Meyer this time. I had a phone call for a little light. Down here, it's freezing out, by the way, so I have a, uh, my hands are freezing. I was going to show you a little really light on paper products. Look here, these are your toilet. You know, I, I don't want this to be too long. It's probably already pushing 20 minutes. This is Way Chicago. Stan building up the website, my other backup channels. We're going to try and have some fun with the, uh, with the apocalypse, let's call it. <laughs> or not. It's way Chicago. Have a great night, everybody. Have a great night.